Here's a question for you. Have you ever seen a striped rabbit or a blood-sucking bat or a hairy spider the size of a dinner plate? Well, scientists are discovering thousands of new species in the Mekong Delta region of Asia. The area hasn't been studied thoroughly before because, well, it's so remote. So, are you wondering what else might be there? Josh Leves has been wondering the same thing. He joins us live from the Siena Newsroom with some details on these amazing finds. Hi, Josh. Hey there. Have you seen these pictures? They're astounding. It's incredible. More than a thousand species found over the last decade. And what they're doing now is coming out with a list of them. Incredible pictures. Check this out. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this green viper. This was found in the Mekong region. And we're going to start off by bringing in the head of the World Wildlife Fund program in the Mekong region, Dekila Chunyapa. Dekila, are you there? Hi, Josh. Great. Thank you so much. All right. I was just telling everybody about how this incredible green snake actually has the ability to help humans. Tell me about this, this blood clotting property. Um, well, it's a pit viper, which means it's hemotoxic. And its bite is not only venomous, but it has a toxin that prevents blood clotting in the victim. So, of course, the victim is going to die, but it's going to be slow and relatively painless. Well, I suppose that's a slight comfort, but I know that because it helps in blood clotting, it can be studied, right? Used that's in right. hospitals, maybe eventually help people that way. Yeah, right. we have research uh, scientists looking at the enzyme. Amazing. All right, now I am looking at this bright pink millipede. This one's amazing, too. This thing, you're telling me, emits cyanide? What's that about? Okay, so it's very tiny. It's the, small, it's the size of your thumb. And it's, we, when we think of pink, we think that, oh, it's a nice color. But actually, in the animal kingdom, it's a shocking pink invertebrate. It's a big walking warning sign saying that, don't touch me. Same. And so when you pick it up or when a predator <laughs> comes near it, it secretes uh -huh. cyanide. And oh it even goodness. smells like almonds. So it's really telling you, don't come near. You know what I'm going to do really quickly? I want to show everybody this. I have a video here that just traces you through some of the incredibly many animals and plants. Plants. You got lizards, you got rats, you got snakes, all sorts of amazing finds. One of them I want to show you because out of more than a thousand species, only a handful of mammals, right? And we have that right over here. This is a rabbit, and apparently it's one of, like we said, only one of 15 mammals that were actually found out there. What is it? It kind of has this lack of eyes here. I'm seeing a big bright spot in place of an eye, and its fur looks like it's a lion or a tiger. Right, it's the Anamite striped rabbit. There are only two striped rabbits in the world, and it's endemic to the Anamite Mountains, which is basically these mysterious mountains that separate Laos and Vietnam. Okay. And the reason why it's so special is because it's it's in these forests that were completely left alone for for, you know, it was a historic refugia through the last millennium, and so all these species have had time to evolve there, sort of in this protected sanctuary, and they are not found anywhere else in the world. And you know this what? Is a perfect example. We're actually going to show the area. This is it right here. That you were just talking about. Now, we're not just talking about the delta, which would be the southern part of this map. You're talking about the entire greater Mekong region. So we've That's got Vietnam, right. Laos over here, over here into Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia. It's in this general area. Now, give me the yep. basic concept. You told me that this population, these animals, develop partly by avoiding climate change. How'd they right. do that? Well, this is, I mean, when you think of, okay, so the perfect phrase, of course, is head to the hills, right? This is, this is what we do whenever we're in danger. And animals have developed this great sense of survival instinct. So in, in situations like this where, let's say, the temperature is rising or there's an sure. ice age coming in, they, they instinctively move to areas that are probably safer for them. Now you and in the case of the Anamite Mountains, they started right. moving upwards. And just so I understand, that a lot of the mountains are in the northern section up here toward Vietnam mm -hmm. and Laos, right? So that's where a lot yep. of these areas were. And those mountains help shield them. So some of these mountains in the northern section around here help shield them from the Ice Age, some of these other climate changes. Right. And that's incredible. I mean, this is, this incredible. is a threat that's really affecting the Mekong region. There's a lot of glacier melting, you know, in the source area of the Mekong River, which is the Tibetan Plateau, and there's sea level rise happening as well. So okay. I think it's something that we should be aware of and learning from the animal kingdom, actually, how to adapt. Yeah, you know, I just want to give everybody a taste of a few more of the animals that we have on here because they've, never, they've literally never seen anything like this. And since we have you for a couple more minutes, I'm going to shrink this one right here. I'm going to open up this one, which we were having a debate about this. I think that this one's cute, but it's a little bit scary. This is a type of, uh, of bat, you told me, right? This yeah, is a bat it's we're looking at. Ruler, it does have yeah. some ferocious fangs right here, but you told me it's actually pretty small. It's pretty small. It's a Vespa bat. It's woolly. It's basically a woolly cute ball with funnel-shaped <laughs> ears. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it's fun have you seen Laos, one of these Thailand, in person? And Cambodia. S and, um, we found it in Mondalkiri in, in Cambodia, where WWF works, and okay. it, it lives in a habitat that's really threatened. So. It lives in a habitat. Now, what, speaking of threatened, you told me that all these animals, even that snake that's venomous, people are trying to hunt them and eat them? That's right. I mean, if you think about the culture and the tradition in the area, there's, you know, people, people live on wildlife, and there's a certain social status that is 
uh, that you get if you if you have wildlife on the menu, and so we are walking this very thin line between respecting historic and cultural values at the same time saying these species are threatened and it's valuable for local communities. Wow. A lot of the threats that you see are very large scale. We're talking about huge timber trade and roads and dams. There are 300 dams being planned for the river alone. So you know, it's local communities actually get impacted as much as wildlife and. Wow. Our solution is to work with the governments and the communities to protect the 230,000 square miles out there of forest and river. Okay, well, listen, I know we got to go. There's a lot more information available at CNN.com. Thank you so much for talking through this. Thank you for having me. Well, yeah, no, it's just great to have you. Thank you. Virginia, I guess the moral of the story is don't approach one of these if you see it out (laughs) there. Don't try to pick it up. Don't touch it. But these really are significant finds that say a lot about climate, about our time, and also about what we still don't know about the world. Yeah, I think it's heartening, too, you know, because we hear about some species going extinct. It's nice to see that there's some new ones out there. And like you said, the more colorful, the more likely that it can kill you. (laughs) So stay Let's just end on this. Let's just end on that. It's such a powerful shot. (laughs) I don't want to give anybody nightmares, but come on. Yeah, yeah. As long as it's a picture, it's fine. Josh (laughs) Laws, appreciate it. Really good stuff. Thanks. Thank you.